Hola, Minecraft fans, it's Collins, and we got another Magneticraft multi block machine we're going to build today. This one is the Polymerizer. Polymer. Po not Polymerizer. Polymerizer. And uh, it's pretty easy to build. Most of the stuff you can find in NEI or on the wiki. The controller is built with some carbide, some glass bottles, and a multi block chassis. And to completely build your multi block structure, you're going to need one controller. 36 of these multi-block chassis, two multi-block IOs, two energy IOs. You're going to need a Magneticraft heater and a Magneticraft fluid tank. And like some of the other Magneticraft machines, you place the controller one block above the ground. I already got rid of the block below there. You right-click it, you get a ghost layout of this machine. And uh, again, I mentioned this in one of the other videos. If you press F9 in most uh, modern Minecraft packs, you'll get chunk borders. It's a good idea to make sure when you build one of these multi-block machines that you don't uh, cross a chunk boundary with it. You may run into problems with the machine running when the uh, chunks unload and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and start building this thing out. Alright, so we got most of these blocks laid out. If we click on the controller, there's a couple IOs in the front, just one block behind, one on each side. And let's go ahead and click this again. There's energy IOs in the back, one block away from the end. And let's click this one more time, because if you look in here, it's, nor it's sort of a hollow structure, but you can kind of see that an outline, there's a square. So in between the two power ports, you need to get this heater in here. And then in the very back is the tank. And then that's the multi-block structure. So like most of the other magnetic craft machines, it doesn't automatically complete until you right-click the controller and there's a completed multi-block structure. If you break a block, the structure will disappear and you'll get that back in survival mode. You replace it, it doesn't reappear until you right-click the controller. And I have a wooden pick in my hand just because I wanted to show you most of the machines from magnetic craft so far, all of the blocks are harvestable uh, with a pickaxe and a wooden pickaxe. So if you're in survival mode and you have a wooden pick or any sort of pickaxe, you'll be able to uh, mine these blocks and move them around and replace them. So I love this machine. This is beautiful. Very pretty machine. So let's go ahead and set this thing up, uh, get some structure go infrastructure going, and uh, we'll continue on. All right, I've got a creative power source down here and some of this copper wire hooked up to one power and again there's two powers on this so if you input power from one it'll actually output power into out the other side so you can run power between machines on this thing and then in the back here we put a tank in the middle and there's this it looks like Magneticraft copper uh, piping but you can't actually connect anything to this no piping will connect to that so you do have to connect to the middle block in the back and then we can just use some of this magnetic craft iron pipe and then if I set this to output it will fill up the tank and as you can see it in the GUI in the back there and then we have natural gas so there's two things you can make with this you can use uh, coal to make is it plastic sheets for coal let's take a look in the chest because there it is coal will make you plastic sheets with natural gas and sulfur will make you rubber sheets with natural gas and the input is on this side, so we can stick some coal and some sulfur in there. And you'll see the little thing going. And it may take a while for it to heat up, depending on how much power you got going into this thing. Uh, but it will slowly process, and then the output will be on this side. And there's our plastic sheet, and these things are stackable. And it will... Oh, it looks like it does use quite a bit of uh, natural gas there. So the natural gas we got from refining oil and um, our other Magnetocraft machines. It does use a little bit of that stuff. And rubber sheets and plastic sheets. Or rubber sheet and plastic sheet. Now there are other mods like uh, Mine Factory Reloaded that have plastic sheets and rubber. And in, if you have one of those mods installed in your mod pack with Magnetocraft, most of the time those um, rubber and plastic are interchangeable with the ones from the mod, so you can either use this thing or you can use uh, rubber and plastic from your other mod. But that's it for Magnetocraft, so thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody who likes and subscribes, and we'll catch you guys later.